In 2012, my girlfriend bought me a drone for my birthday. I still have the drone, though the girlfriend is long gone. This little toy stirred something in me, and from there, I was off to the races. On January 7th, 2013, DJI released the original Phantom. It was DJI's first ready-to-fly drone system with GPS stabilization. This first Phantom only had a range of 984 feet, a flight time of under 10 minutes, and didn't even come with a camera. You had to mount a GoPro or some other camera to be able to record that nice shaky footage. But it was groundbreaking and helped DJI become the multi-billion dollar company it is today. Innovation happened quickly in 2013. On October 28th, the Phantom 2 Vision came out. It featured a 1080p camera, a 300 meter range, flight time was doubled to 20 minutes, and it had the first intelligent battery. In January of the same year, DJI released the Phantom 2. This is where I entered the scene. Like many of you, I used my tax refund to buy my first drone. It's the easiest drone you'll ever fly. I couldn't have been more excited. The gift of flight was finally mine. The Phantom 2 with the Zenmuse H3 gimbal allowed you to put a GoPro camera aboard your drone to get high quality aerial footage. Flight time was improved to 25 minutes and range was improved to 1000 meters. Video telemetry wasn't available yet, so you had to fly visual line of sight and just hope that you were framing your shot correctly. Well, this all changed in January of 2014 when the Phantom 2 FC40 was released. It had a camera that used Wi-Fi to offer FPV, but only up to 100 meters. 2014 was a very important year for DJI because that was when they decided to start making their own cameras instead of merely being a flying platform for GoPro cameras. Well, GoPro got really butthurt and began developing their own drone called Karma. And we all know how that turned out. It looks good in S1. We're coming forward with the side stick. Oh, looks good. Uh, Roger. I've got a blowout. Paper three. Get your pitch to zero. Pitch is out. I can't hold altitude. Correction. Alpha hold is off. Trip selected emergency. Flight calm. I can't hold it. She's breaking up. She's breaking. The biggest leap forward in DJI drone technology happened on April 9th, 2015, when the Phantom 3 Professional and Advanced were announced. I couldn't wait to upgrade to true 4K UHD video recording, a five kilometer range, intelligent battery with 23 minutes of flight time, and Lightbridge downlink technology. Lightbridge allowed full HD FPV and OSD data. It was a true game changer, and the day it arrived, I was super excited. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not good for it. It smells all electronic-y. Oh, by the way, the motors come with these little protective thingies on them. You might want to take those off before you fix the blades. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Anyone who had a drone in 2015 will remember that time as being the Wild West. Because in August of 2016, the FAA started requiring professional photographers to get a Part 107 certification and to follow much stricter rules on where you could fly. And before that, well, I was flying everywhere and anywhere. Like this. <laughs> Shouldn't do that. That's bad. <laughs> the next big upgrade was DJI's OcuSync, offering better range, reliable telemetry, and the use of DJI goggles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Man, it's like I'm there. It's like I'm in the cockpit and I'm flying. And the DJ III goggles have head tracking. Watch. I turn my head and the goggles track right with your head. Incredible. It's been over seven years since the release of the Phantom 3 and DJI continues to release drones that offer incremental improvements in range, camera resolution and features. However, the next quantum leap will be with battery technology. Graphene aluminum ion batteries, for instance, charge 60 times faster than lithium ion cells and hold significantly more energy. For now, graphene and the battery manufacturing process are very cost prohibitive. So we'll have to wait for two hour flight times. But don't let that diminish the fact that we are all living right now in an extraordinary time of technology and ingenuity. I went down the rabbit hole in 2012 and haven't emerged since. My excitement for drones has evolved with every advancement and I feel privileged to share my adoration of the hobby with you, the drone community.